What's going on guys and welcome back to a new project that we're going to post on uh, weekends. This is, um, come on, it's going to show up on the screen. This is a uh, Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. This is a pretty divisive entry in the Zelda series. Like, a lot of people say this is the black sheep of the Zelda series and I can see some argument for it. And I can see um, other people that say uh, they love this game in its own right and think it's like one of the most unique Zelda games of all time. I am personally in the boat where like, much like the already played through Majora's Mask, I think this is a good Zelda game and it's a good game in its own right. And here's the story. After Ganon was destroyed, Impa told Link a sleeping spell was cast on Princess Zelda. She will wake only with the power of number three Triforce sealed in a palace in Hyrule. To break the spell, crystals must be placed in a statue in six well-guarded places. Link set out his most adventurous quest yet. Copyright 1987 Nintendo. Anyway, so yeah, Zelda 2 is very divisive. A lot of people really like it. A lot of people really don't like it. And uh, we will go through more on this later. Now, uh, the uh, we have to get rid of a file because uh, let's just say I had a failed recording of this. This should this for this next take should be a success. But um, yeah, be, and we're gonna name our character. So um, because Link is such an iconic character, I tell the games I never typically name it anything other than his default name. But uh. Yeah, so we're gonna just get started in. The first thing we notice is we have lives. If we die three times, it's game over. So, um, that is unique about Zelda 2. But, um, anyway, so, um, here's the first thing you're gonna notice about Zelda 2, besides Zelda. It's a side scroller, and like no other Zelda games like this. That is a very common criticism I've heard of this game, is that, um, it's a side scroller, and no other they made no other Zelda game that was like this. However, coming from the perspective of also someone who is a Mario 2 defender, I'm like, you have to put it in the perspective of when it came out in 1988. And um basically there were only two Zelda games. So um this was a side scroller. Much like how there was two Mario games when like the American Mario 2 came out. Like, there's not really you have to compare it to like what was else was out at the time, and like I guess when A Link to the Past came out, it kind of turned a lot of people against this game. But um, anyway, so I will also explain the uh, goal of this game. This game is also RPG oriented. So like what you see in the top left screen is that your attack power, your magic power, and your life power, you level this up. And you level this up by getting the XP that is displayed on the top right. 50 XP will get to a level up. So once we leave the palace, um, once we leave the palace and um, Basically, the yellow road is safe at all cost. However, we walk on the grass. I want to try to see if I can get in a fight to demonstrate. You see these like black enemies, these like, these like, uh, kind of like, uh, I don't know, cookie cutter shaped enemies. Yeah. If you get in one of these, you get in a battle. If you get in one of, in one of the round ones, you get in an easier battle. If you get in the monster shaped ones, you get in a harder battle. Anyway, so, um, yeah, and, um, basically, you have a sword being at full health, like you do in Zelda 1. Now, I actually want to go in this cave right off the bat. Make sure you watch their sh these enemies' shadows, because, um, let's just say there's going to be a little bit of, a uh, annoyance to that if you can't see it. But, yeah, I, over the past, like, few months, I've gotten, like, really, really good at Zelda 2, so, like, um... This is basically, this will be a rundown of like how to play through the game, how to beat the game your first time, and why I think you should give this game a second chance. Because I do think it's a solid Zelda in its own right. And um, as you can already tell, we are already almost well level up. Now, um, I have a strategization, a strategization of what you should level up. And like, um, let's just get into a battle to, so we can, can kind of get into one. Um, Okay, sometimes these enemies drop these things up, these jars which contain magic, but, um... Now, 50 level up, uh, if you get, you can either, we can either level up, um, life or cancel it out and just keep going to 100 or 200. I usually do a pattern. I level up life first, then I usually level up attack, and then I usually level up magic. That has always been the strategy I've used for this game. Anyway, so now that we're on the yellow road, um, the main goal we have to do in Zelda 2, by the way, if you encounter an enemy on the yellow road, you're safe, but, um, 
The main goal in Zelda 2 is we have to we have to basically um wow that was not the way I intended to go with this but um okay but um the way I intended the way um uh, the, the goal in Zelda 2 is really to go to towns and learn magic spells then go to each palace at once you've learned the spells. And really, I really credit Zelda 2 because, like, um, Zelda 2 was the first Zelda to have a magic meter. Even though it doesn't work like it does in future Zeldas, I kind of applaud Zelda 2. I really kind of applaud Zelda 2 for experimenting. Like, um, that's one thing I applaud this game for. And here's another thing criticism people have against this game. The townspeople are do not help at all. Like, if you talk to this one, man, return crystal to the see she'll remember she'll kind of give you a hint but if you talk to this woman sorry i know nothing yeah a lot of these townspeople do not help at all if you talk to this woman please let me help you come inside there's a town in every there's a woman in every town that restores your health so um and let's just say there's the classic joke of duh what is she doing there to put it simply, I always thought she was just letting you take a rest in her house because that's common in RPGs. And I honestly think that's what they were going for because, you know, Nintendo would, Nintendo would not have allowed sex references back in the day. But anyway, if we talk to this woman, talk with my father before you leave. And um, yeah, in each, each town, there's basically going to be an old man that gives us a magic spell. So, uh, yeah, and if we talk to him, in Parappa Desert, use this magic to survive. And we get the shield spell. You know, the shield spell is not one of the required spells to get in the game. You can necessarily beat the whole game without getting the shield spell, though I don't recommend trying. But, um, yeah, so, um, now we don't have to do anything else in this town, so I guess we can start heading towards Parappa, towards the, uh, Dallas, not, not that I sound like Prapa the Rapper. Prapa the Rapper I've always wanted to try, but it's so fucking expensive. I've, I just really want to try the driving trades. And they're like, now step on the gas. Step on the gas. Now I say boom, boom, boom. You say bam, bam, bam. Like, uh, I've heard the soundtrack to Prapa the Rapper. It just sounds great. Though sometimes I've made jokes, like, about Prapa the Rapper with, uh, at the expense of other rappers, like, let's say a current rapper's Ice Spice, and, uh, let's just say if she were in Prapa the Rapper, the you rapping meter would always be set to awful. Yeah, let's get, now we got my lame jokes out of the way. We're actually gonna go down here because, um, let's just say there's going to be a, um, there's going to be a uh, upgrade. Now this is the first of the pits in the game. That is a water pit, but Link can't swim in this game. So uh, if you fall in the water, it's instant death. So that's another reason why this game has live systems. If we game over, and that is basically another thing people have against this game. That's not what I intended to. We'll get a ton of XP. So I'm not really complaining too much. That's, we would have had a magic upgrade. Um, okay, so, um, get five XP out of this guy though. But um, anyway, so um, what I meant to do is go in here. Now I'm gonna try to see if I can kill this one guy. Yeah, the best way to kill those guys are basically, uh, are basically what I'm trying to say, crouch stabbing. Now, if we get to 150 XP, we can get another life upgrade, but uh, we're not going to do that yet. Now, um, essentially, um, that here, I guess, like when you game, when you game over, what I was trying to say is that uh, you go back to Zelda's palace, even if you're on a palace. So, um, that's one thing people have against this game. I should probably talk about the uh, giant elephant in the room. One of the biggest problems people have with Zelda 2 is that it te they tend to find it really hard. I'm like a rare exception because like 
Contrary to popular belief, I don't find Zelda 2 that hard. Definitely not, like, because, like, let me put this into perspective. I've played harder NES games like Battletoads, Ghosts and Goblins, Bayou Billy, and even Silver Surfer. Like, those games are, like, actually, like, legit hard for, like, bad reasons. But, like, um, but those games are, like, legit hard. They, like, they j insanely jack up the difficulty. I feel Zelda 2 mostly gets the hard difficulty rep mainly because of not letting you start back at a palace. Even not starting back at a palace, it doesn't really... I don't feel it takes long to walk back to a palace, so I don't find it too bad, but, um... And here's the other reason I don't think this game is really that hard. Because this game has RPG elements, you essentially have to play this like an RPG. You have to strategize what you're gonna level up. Like I already said at the beginning of the video, you have to go... You have to go... I usually go life, magic... I usually go life, attack, and magic, but, um... Yeah, I don't find this that hard. And like, the tip I'm gonna give and the tip I gave in the failed recording, if you can max out your stats in the early portion of this game, uh, you'll have a much easier time in the later portion of this game. Yeah, now we're gonna get the key in there, but um, these enemies don't give them much, don't give XP, but if you do get hit by these enemies, um, let's just say uh, you lose XP. They're one of those enemies. We can kill those bu those bubbles, but um, they don't um, we can't. It, they take a lot of hits. Only a couple more enemies. We should get a uh, yeah. These are Stalfos. We kill one more Stalfos, we'll get a uh, we'll get a uh, attack upgrade. So yeah. Um, now, there's one trick I want to show with these enemies right here. Um, these are bubbles. Um, they give a lot... They they take a lot of hits to kill, but they always drop 50 XP. And not only that, they respawn every time you enter, exit the room and re-enter. So these are really good grinding enemies. So I'm just going to grind my way up to uh, 100. Uh, I'm just going to grind my way up a couple levels. Let's, let's just do this. Even though they take a lot of hits, um, I think it's worth it. Like, um, if you have a little bit of time on your hands, just just grind these, uh, just grind these enemies over and over and over again. Eventually, you'll just rack up levels in the early in this dungeon because um, if you can get your um, if you can, like I, I'm going to try to explain this in the first couple of parts. If you can max out your stats in the early portion of this game, let's just say this game will progressively get easier. Aside from one area at the very end, but like, um, there's only a couple areas, there's only one area I really find to be difficult in this game. And we'll get, and it's at the very end. But I'm going to, I'm going to try to see if I can get one more level up, um. We're going to try to see if we can get one more level up, and if we get 150 points, we get a life upgrade, so we're going to try to see if we can do that. And 300 will get us a uh, magic upgrade. Um, so we're gonna do the, we're gonna again do the pattern of life then, uh, we're gonna do the pattern of life then attack then magic. And um, if we can get three attack power, we'll fail, we'll fail, we'll fare greatly in the, up in the next areas. Two more of these battles and I'm done grinding. I just want to get my life up to three, but like this is kind of a, this is a really solid trick you can do if you're playing through Zelda 2 for the first time. Just kill these skulls, just kill these skulls bubbles over and over and over again. You'll get, you'll just start racking up levels. So one more and uh, one more and we should do, be able to get um, a level up. We are level up, so we're we're gonna level up our uh, life. We have uh, three life, and we're already we're not even like halfway done with the first dungeon. So, um, like I said, max out your stats in the first dun first couple dungeons. You should be you should fare greatly in the rest of the game.
I always use the second. I always use the first two dungeons as a way to the first two palaces, as essentially a way to max out my stats. Because if you can do that, you'll fare greatly for the rest of the game, even Death Mountain. Like in the failed recording, I recorded up to Death Mountain, and uh, let's just say it wasn't that hard with the stats we got. So like this does work. But much like the, the already played through Majora's Mask, this is essentially a guide to like play this pro play, play this properly for the first time. Because there's also going to be a lot of areas in this game that are be hard, that are cryptic and hard to figure out if you don't have a guide. Anyway, so another level, I think we'll get a magic upgrade. So, um, yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna skip magic and then go straight to, um, <coughs> sorry for that, but, um, we're gonna skip magic and then just go straight to, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna skip magic and go straight to, uh, what am I trying to say? Go straight to, uh, Blah. we're gonna go to attack. Yeah, I kind of wore out my, uh, commentary skills in the first failed recording especially it went out for an hour but like I know the reason the recording failed is because I had my intermission stream music on when uh I went to uh you know, I just feel like killing one of those um I just feel like killing one of those one of those bubbles again because like I said the solid enemies just grind out XP and like we'll already almost be to get to another level up but um every chance you have to grind just do it Even if this video goes on for like 30 minutes, but um, I'd say Zelda 2 can be beaten in like maybe two hours. So um, who knows? I I might not get through this whole game in one sitting, but I think this record, I think this game will be recorded in two sittings. I don't know. You want to go down here also because um, this is how we get the dungeon item. But um, I want to say also after um, we should be able to get a, uh, we should also be able to get an upgrade after uh. We kill some of these because this is another room filled with bubbles and um Oh shit. Want that bubble back. Oh shit. Oh, I guess we have to start from scratch. Oh shit. Okay, if you can get two of them on the screen at the same time, you can double the XP. Oh, we're gonna kill this guy and get a magic upgrade. Um. We might actually get our first death here, unfortunately, because uh, we didn't get good spawning. But like I said, like once we get the uh, attack up, we should be fine. We're not gonna go. We're not gonna go for a 400 either. Um, it'd be nice to go for a 400, but it's. I probably should cut out the grinding attempts. I don't know. Um, and wow, they respawn. But um, well, I knew they respawn. I didn't know they respawn in between run. But um, probably you. Pro you guys are probably not finding it fun to watch um myself kill these things over and over again. But it'll, the reward will be insanely heavy. I promise. I've done this before. Hell, I even did this two hours ago in a failed recording. All right, we should be good. Um, oh shit. Oh, that's our first death, but um, yeah, that's our first death. Uh, when the failed recording, I, I got my first death in the second palace, but um, yeah, we got kind of screwed with the enemy placement. Now, every time you see a pee bag, you always want to get the pee bag, but we're just gonna, we're getting, like I said, we're gonna get our attack up first. 
We're gonna get our attack up first and um, here we go. Just a couple more enemies should do it. Not that, sometimes they drop red magic. Sometimes these enemies drop red magic and um, they heal you magically. Now with these iron knuckles, I always like jump and then when I'm about to land, um, I always, I always jump and when I'm about to land, I basically, um, I basically just do board because I don't want them in the process of landing because I feel like it's cons that consistently hits them. I could have used, um, well, there's, a uh, there's bubble, there's, uh, blobs on the other side, so, um. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got our attack up, so, um, yeah. We're, now, essentially, now that we're at three attack, we should essentially get the bubbles out faster, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do more grinding. I'm gonna try to see if I can grind out these things more so I can uh, get uh, another level up, which is the uh, magic level up. But I'm gonna try to see if I can do that. I, I'm, I'm gonna cut out the, I'm gonna cut out till I see if I can get a level up. I'm gonna cut it out this time, so I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we got a magic upgrade, so that's nice. So um, we'll get a life upgrade and, um, oh, do this. let's do this again. Every time you, you get an opportunity to kill one of these, just, Keep doing it and you'll get 50 XP. They're really great grinding enemies and they respawn. So um we might even get a we might even get a four if you can get a four um attack power when you're done with this dungeon, let's just say you'll be in a sweet spot for the rest of this for the remainder of this game. Oh yeah. Yeah, are you coming back? No, you're not. Let's just uh, ignore them. But anyway, so basically, um, we have uh, one more key. So, um, oh yeah. Oh, by the way, now that we have three attack power, those blobs are killed in one hit. So it's another way I recommend getting your attack power out early on. My biggest tip to anyone playing Zelda 2 for the first time, max out your stats as early in the game as possible. Like, the earlier you get high stats, the better. Because, um... Let's just say some dungeons you're gonna eat will catch you off guard if you go... Some palaces will catch you off guard if you go in unprepared. Should be almost at the boss, and we might get a... We might get a couple... We might get a level up. More Iron Knuckles, um... Like I said, jump, and then, uh... When he's about... When you're about to land, then stab. I feel that's a consistent way of killing them. All right, we're gonna lay down a shield spell. So, um, I always do with these enemies. Okay. Should be another iron knuckle. I could have used more, I could have used more XP. Um, I go back and try to kill a bubble. Um, you know what? I'm stupid enough to try that. Let's get our level up. Let's just, uh, I will, uh, I'm just gonna go back into the dungeon and see you guys in a second. Alrighty, so we're gonna get him. Um, yeah, so that's just great. We're going to, um, we're gonna get, um, four life power, four magic all out of the first dungeon. So, um, yeah. Just max out all the stats you have. We're, probably, we're not gonna get four attack power, unfortunately, but um, we should be able to get it after the second palace. Like I said, if you can max out these stats, you'll fare greatly in the later portion of this game. Really throw all of this game. Like uh, you're, all right, we're gonna put up a shield spell, but uh, anyway, this guy's not, this guy's a pretty easy boss. Um. You just attack his head, that's the weak spot. You have three attack power, this guy's a joke, by the way. I say that as I get hit, but I beat him anyway. Here 
Ready, so um, yeah, we're gonna get a magic upgrade as well. So um, yeah, make sure to also put the crystals in the pal in the palaces. So uh, yeah. And we're gonna get a massive. We're gonna get a magic upgrade. So um. I'll see you guys in the next part. So uh, next time in the Legends of the Majora's Mask, we're gonna try to see if we can go to the next palace. See you guys then.